Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I want to talk to you about hormones. So in my Resetter group, we are about to do a book study on rushing woman syndrome. And it's a pivotal book on women's hormones and what a stressful life can do to throw your hormones out of balance. And one of the things that we're seeing in my clinic, I've, I'm, a, I'm gonna be 49 next month, I experienced in my own body, is that as toxins start to elevate in your body, what ends up happening is your hormones will start to get more and more out of balance. And what most people don't realize is as you start to get into your 40s and 50s, there are several things that are happening that throw these hormones off and it's not because you're in perimenopause or menopause, it's because your toxic load has gotten much greater. So when we go and we detox you and we start to decrease your toxic load, then we start to bring your hormonal balance back. So the first like big aha I want you to have today is that a hormonal issue is truly a toxic issue. So I love this uh, example here. I've shown you this before on Facebook Lives that think of your toxic load like this big bucket that you have, this big container for carrying toxins. And as you get older, what ends up happening is your, your bucket is growing, 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 growing. And so you might have been able to eat a certain food 20 years ago and get away with it, but now you eat that food and you can't get away with it because your toxic bucket is so high and one little drop of toxins throws everything off. So that's the first step is I want you to look at your toxins as building as the years go on. It's not like your toxic load stays stagnant. Your toxic load, if you're in your 40s right now, is probably most likely higher than it was in your 30s. So that has to be addressed. Now, the second thing I want you to realize is that the part, the part of your brain that controls hormones has no protective barrier. So your hypothalamus and your pituitary have no protective, there's nothing protecting them. So anything that gets into your bloodstream, any toxin that gets into your bloodstream has direct access to that part of your brain and will start to throw your hormones off. One of the things we're seeing in my clinic is that there's so much damage to people's guts that most people are walking around with a leaky gut. They're, they're allowing more and more toxins to get into the bloodstream. More toxins get into the bloodstream, go up into the brain, and they start to cause dysfunction with the hypothalamus and pituitary. When those two parts of the brain start to malfunction, your whole hormonal system goes off. So I want to give you something to think about is, okay, we've got the toxic load affecting the parts of the brain that control hormones, so what the heck do you do? So the first thing I wanted to give you two really cool tips today that I use with my, with my patients. The first one, if you're not using Restore Nasal Spray, I highly recommend it. What this will do is create a really wonderful mucosal barrier in your nose. So when you walk outside into the polluted air, you actually start to create some protection in your nose and you don't um, inhale toxins that are in the air. So a lot of you have been living in areas where there's a lot of fires and a lot of things that are burning. And when you walk out, or if you're in a big city and you walk out and you breathe in all those chemicals, they're going right into your bloodstream up to the hypo hypothalamus and pituitary. Second thing I really encourage my patients to do is to seal off the barriers in your gut. So if you've been eating out a lot, if you've been eating processed foods, if you've been eating, knowing that you're just eating a lot of junk food, a lot of wheat, a lot of GMO filled foods, glyphosate, then you no doubt have a leaky gut. We run a lot of gut zoomer tests on our patient and our patients and I would say about 90% of them have a leaky gut. So I make sure you're taking Restore to seal that off so that you're not letting the toxins in your food get in your bloodstream and go up into your hypothalamus and pituitary. And then my third piece of advice to you is really look around your environment. So stop trying to treat your individual body, stop trying to treat your hormonal imbalance, but treat the environment in which you are living in. So if you like, like if you got a new piece of furniture, do you know that there are flame retardants on your new piece of furniture that are, an, that are being outgassed while you move that piece of furniture in? It, uh, we have a lot of patients who have mold in their home and they're breathing that in all day. 
We have some people that are really highly stressed and their, their uh, environment is so stressful that that's adding uh, uh, stress toxins to the body. So look at your environment. What can you start to do to bring the, the, your bucket down? Make sense? So let me just recap so you're really clear. Hormones are a toxic issue. They're damaging the part of the brain that controls all hormonal control. Seal off your nasal barrier, seal off your gut barrier, and look at your surroundings. What can you do to detoxify it? I'm gonna do a whole series on, on hormones over the next two weeks, so make sure you like my page because this is where I'll be doing it from. Uh, we are doing a book study in my resetter group on the rushing woman syndrome and how our hormones get out of balance with this crazy world that we live in. Uh, if you wanna partake in that, just put resetters. But you have control over these hormones, so don't give up. Don't, get, don't be that person who gets stuck on looking for the magic pill in a medication. It doesn't exist. The magic is you. You have the healing power within you. You just need the tools. You just need the information. You just need the belief that you can heal from this. And that's what I want to give you. So please don't give up. Join me in my resetter group, and let's start balancing your hormones.